We now know the name of the Washington Naval District firefighter who died in St. Mary's County yesterday when a burning home collapsed on him. He was 25 year old Bryce Trossbach, a lifelong resident of St. Mary's County. His fire engine had been called off the Patuxent River Naval Air Station to help the community volunteers that were battling a house fire in nearby Leonardtown, Maryland. Yeah, you're looking at some new video here. About 15 minutes ago, his body arrived back in Leonardtown. Sky 9 capturing the solemn procession of fire trucks from counties throughout Central and Southern Maryland as they helped Trebak's family bring his remains back home from Maryland's Office of the Chief Medical Examiner in Baltimore. That's where Scott Broom spoke with firefighters who are just, as you can imagine, devastated. Emotional moments here at the Maryland Office of the Chief Medical Examiner in Baltimore, where fallen firefighter 25-year-old Bryce Trossbach's family came to bring him home surrounded by more than 100 friends and colleagues, including the former chief of the Leonardtown Volunteers, Freddie Burris, who knows Trostback's family well. This just, he's just a great young man. I'm sorry. He just loved the fire service. He loved the fire department. He was paid with the Navy, and as soon as he got off duty with the Navy, he came to the Leonardtown Fire Department. He just he would come and stand by there all day long until he went back to work or went home with his girlfriend. Just his whole family just has their whole life has been fried. He has a he has a brother that's a paid uh, lieutenant in Prince George's County. Uh, his father's been a volunteer in Leonardtown for 30 years. Just unbelievable family. Firefighters from all over Central and Southern Maryland came to launch Trossbach's last journey to St. Mary's County. His body was carried in an ambulance from the Naval District of Washington Fire Department, where he served at the Patuxent River Naval Air Station. Trossbach died when a burning home collapsed early Tuesday as his Navy crew was responding to support the Leonardtown volunteers, the hometown department Trossbach also served with. Homeowner Richard McNeil said he suspects lightning caused the fire. McNeil's family got out safe. The fire's under investigation as the Leonardtown community grieves. It's a family. We're all family, all of us. In Baltimore, Scott Broom, WUSA 9.